you want to be consumers here. Now, it's no surprise, like, it's pretty much no surprise that one of the greatest TV dramas of all time has got to be The Sopranos. Well, you know, one of the first, you know, a couple years ago, they did announce that um, they got a Sopranos um, movie prequel um, coming and all. And today, Warner Bros. has unveiled its trailer for the upcoming Sopranos movie prequel, which is simply titled The Man Who Saints in New York, A Soprano Story. Now, I'm not, I'm not really like fans of those like wording where it says um, some, like, something blank a story, whether it be like a solo Star Wars story or um, a Twilight story or something like that. But you know, this one, I kind of could see why, because not many, like, if you go to the movies and be like, what the man who says New York is about? Not anyone's gonna know what the um, title is, but you have the word Sopranos in the title, lots of people know what the Soprano is, so they'll rush to see us. Anyway, The Man Who Saints in New York is, um, is directed by Door of the Dark World director Al Taylor, you know, which really, like, it was pretty cool seeing him doing more, like, small affairs, because it's like, other two movies, Door of the Dark World, and Terminator uh, Genesis did not get well received. And if, so it is nice to see him try and tackle more small affairs instead of like going all the way to these big projects. Now. Anyway, uh, The Man Who Saints in New York stars the likes of Vera Farmiga, John Bernthal, Alexander Novella, Corey Stowe, Billy Magnuson, John Magario, Nick Bello Villago, Ray Liotta, and Michael Gambino, who you might know is actually the son of Blade Soprano star James Gambino. So pretty much Michael Gambino is playing the younger version of James Gan of uh, Tony Soprano. Here's what the man who says New York is about. Young Anthony Soprano is um, growing up in one of the most uh, tremendous areas in uh, New York's history, becoming a man just as rival gangsters begin to rise up and challenge all and challenge the all-powerful Demio crime families hold over the increasingly race-torn city. Caught up in the changing times in, um, in the uncle he idolizes, Dicky Masami, who struggles to manage both his uh, professional and personal responsibilities, and whose influence over his uh, um, impressionable nephew but, um, will help make the teenager into an all-powerful mob boss who will later come to known as the Soprano, as Tony Soprano. The trailer is presented with the tagline, Legends are born, they're uh, made, and is perhaps more action-filled and intense than our uh, fans were expecting, given the uh, quality of the final um, couple of Soprano season. And I gotta say, the many states of New York, this trailer looks terrific. I, I simply handily love this show. I know it's amazing. Uh, Ray Liotta, how cool was it to see Ray Liotta have his Goodfellas laugh in this? Like, I wonder if I'm the only one who caught that. When Goodfellas, when uh, Ray Liotta and that like little, and that little um tidbit where Ray Liotta is laughing, that is totally the um you know similar uh, laugh he gave in uh, Goodfellas, which of course will later go on to become a meme. Uh, anyway, this like. And it was so cool how in the beginning they actually use um use James Gandolfini's uh you know voice in the beginning. I thought that was really terrific. Mike Gandolfini, this kid, you know he ha he has actually has acting skills. Like he was in that HBO series The Deuce, and he's done some other stuff here and there. But looks like this movie's actually gonna be his breakout role. And Mike Gandolfini looks terrific as the young Tony Soprano. I mean, he definitely, you know, looks like his dad. He definitely sounds like his pops. I think he's gonna crush it as well. Um, the young Tony Soprano. I mean, the Sopranos. I remember watching the Sopranos at a time when I was not supposed to watch a show like that. But frankly, my uh, family is actually pretty big with these mafia shows and movies and all, so they didn't mind if I watch it. Um, or anything. But you know, the Sopranos is arguably one one of the most greatest TV dramas of all time, and it's pretty cool that they decided to do a movie of this instead of like let's say a uh, you know HBO Max series or something like that. And this looks really intense, looks gritty. I, you know, I like Vera Farmiga, John Bertha. I mean, come on, we got Ray Liotta back in a gangster movie. Come on, this is a guy from uh, from Goodfellas, you know. So 
Yeah, I think this movie was hands down terrific, and I'm not gonna lie, this might just this literally is in my top ten favorite movie, like my top ten anticipated movies of the year. That's how much I'm looking forward to check this movie out. Fingers crossed, it'll be good. Cause I feel like we don't really get as much great gangster movies in recent years. I, I mean, we had The Irishman, which was pretty good, but with every Irishman comes a uh, whole lot of. Yeah, hopefully this will be um this will be ahead. Anyway, let me leave you guys. Uh, ha you know, did you um, you know, what did you do on the trailer for the Manny Six and you watch? Did you like the trailer? Are you looking forward to checking this film out? You know, were you ever a fan of The Sopranos? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Serious Sign.